They speak English? Well, of course they speak English. They're a nice middle-aged couple, just like us. If they're just like us, they're not middle-aged. <laughs> of course they are. Middle-aged means the middle, Ethel, middle of life. People don't live to be 150. Well, we're at the far edge of middle age, that's all. We're not, you know. We're not middle-aged. You're old and I'm ancient. Oh, poo. You're in your 70s and I'm in my 60s. It's barely on both counts. Would you like to spend the rest of the afternoon quibbling about this? We can if you like. <laughs> For the Lord's sake. The Migliores, whatever their age group, have invited us to have dinner sometime. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure my stomach's ready for rigatoni, that sort of thing. Oh, no! Poor Elmer! He's had a terrible fall. Poor little Elmer, the life you've led. He was my first true love, you know. No, not along. I wasn't the first in line. <laughs> no, you were a rather cheap substitute for Elmer. And now he's had a fall. Poor they want to kill daughter. himself. They want to... Be cremated. Probably got cancer, termites or something. Shut up, Norman. Not a bad way to go, huh? Quick, front flip off the mantle. Bit of a kick of the last minute end up right in the fire, nothing to it. Norman, will you shut up? When my number's up. Do that for me, will you? Prop me up with the mantle, point out which way it down. Might even try for a full gain with a half twist. Norman Thayer Jr., your fascination with dying is beginning to frazzle my good humor. Mm, not fascination, just... Cross my mind now and then. Every five minutes, don't you have anything else to think about? Nothing quite as interesting. Well, what's stopping you? Mm -hmm. Why don't you take your dive and get it over with? I leave you alone with Elmer. You must be mad. Oh, for pity's sake. Come on, help me get the canoe off the porch.